the row limit clause. I put it there as my first bullet, the most elegant SQL structure ever. And this really is beautiful SQL, beautiful SQL. And it also solves some major problems. It's always been an issue with SQL to navigate through rows. It's quite simply the architecture of structured query language. You know, SQL is a set-oriented language. It deals with sets of rows. There is logically no way to navigate from row to row with the SQL language. The language just doesn't do it. If you want to navigate from row to row, you need to use a procedural language so you can proceed, such as PL SQL. So navigation from row to row, and I'm picking up here on the problem of pagination, has always been really difficult in the SQL environment. It's been difficult to code, it's been inefficient. The row limit clause solves a raft of problems in this area. So I'm just going to concentrate on pagination, uh, but I'm sure you'll be able to find many other cases where the row navigation is so difficult with traditional SQL. 